Hello, and I'm Wade, and this is how an ant colony is made. It starts off with a queen mating with a male. Unfortunately, the male dies short after because he is no longer needed. Then the queen lands onto the ground and loses her wings. Then she finds a spot to lay eggs. She feeds the eggs with a soup made from her tissue. Then from eggs to larvae to people, they become worker ants. The queen will not move around that much because she needs to conserve her energy. She has not eaten in weeks. All her energy is coming from her back muscles, which were powering her wings. The worker ants now must find food for the queen to eat or she'll die. If you're wondering how the eggs are made, it's because the male that died, his sperm is in the queen. So the queen can lay eggs with no male alive. That means a male could be a father two years after it died. Once the workers have found food, they head back to the nest. Now the workers will give half the food they ate to the queen or a larva. They do this by regurgitating the food. The colony has three main focuses. Number one, they need to expand the nest because of the growth rate of the colony. Number two, they will fight to get land slash or territory. Number three, they will build an economic structure. Ants are scavengers. The colony grows, they will find no, big chunks of dead animal. Rarely will they fight a big animal like a snake, but they will fight beetles and smaller prey, even a frog. Depending on a colony type, they could merge to make a super colony with multiple queens and millions of workers. Some colonies produce a type called super majors. They are big and bulky with huge claws. A whole colony might die from a disease or parasite. An example is a mite. It sucks blood from the ants and moves from ant to ant and can destroy a colony. Another way for a colony to be destroyed is if a queen ant dies. That is why the ants will protect the queen with their lives. Some ants are invasive to America, like fire ants and black crazy ants. These ants are more aggressive and produce faster. They are almost better in every aspect in combat. Ants have wars against other ants. The war could be fire ant and fire ant colonies fighting it out. It does not matter if you're the same kind of ant. The ants know which ants are on their side because ants give off smells and a certain ant colony will have a certain ant smell. Speaking of smells, when an ant dies, two days later, the worker ants will pick it up and throw it in the graveyard. They know to do this because the ant gives off citric acid. You could put citric acid on an ant and it'll think it's dead and other ants will try to put it in the graveyard and it'll just accept its fate. Ants are important to the ecosystem. They decompose corpses and clean the environment. Invasive ants protect parasites that harm trees. If you see a fire ant or a black crazy ant nest, pour hot water over it. That is if you want to protect the environment. My favorite type of ant is a weaver ant. They are long, thin, and kill fire ants. They also live in nests in the treetops. They create silk with the larvae to hold the leaves together. I hope you enjoyed my TED Talk. Peace.